This is Andy Purawal for Boxing Social in association with Betfred, and I'm joined by Jack Cullen over Zoom. Jack, how are you doing? Yeah, really well, mate. Really good. Um, obviously, this interview is obviously about my next fight. I'm absolutely buzzing for it, you know. Um, listen, listen, like I've said, um, I've said in plenty of interviews, I will, I will fight anyone. And, you know, the, um, Eddie and Steve have come to me with this um, and just spoke to me, coach, my manager. We've sat down and, yeah, let's go for it. Let's have it. Um, I feel like there's no reason for me not to win this fight. You know, listen, I know he's good. I know he's been in with the best. But I, I, I feel like the way I box, I can beat him. Jack, we'll come on to all of kind of how the fight will go, your preparations, what have you shortly. But just first and foremost, it was one which it came out of the blue. We obviously saw, you know, a little leak with a photo of Eddie on the train that, yeah. uh, uh, last week. <laughs> kind of gave away uh, your, your fight with <laughs> Avni Yildrim. <laughs> but just on this fight, it, like I say, it came out of the blue. Nobody expected it. So how long had this fight been in the pipeline? Had you guys been talking about it? To be honest, no, not really. Um, I got told last last Tuesday about it, and to be honest with you, the first the first thing was of of that picture. Some man message was saying, "No way, you fight your finger," and I thought to myself, "How does he know that? I only got told I only got told in the morning." I said, "How did you know?" And he sent me a picture, and I said, "Have you even seen that?" You know, obviously, but it's what fans do, don't they? <laughs> I mean. Jack, you said you found out was it last Tuesday. So how easy yeah. of a fight was this for you to just kind of negotiate your own terms on? Yeah, well, listen, Eddie, Eddie's put it over to Steve, my manager. Um, Steve's put it over to my coach first, Michael and Dave Jennings. And then they give me a, they give me a phone a phone call after the gym. They knew about it in the gym, but they didn't tell me about it. They got the session done and I got home and they said, listen, Jack, we've been offered this. What do you think? And I said, yeah, let's have it. So listen, they 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 both sat down. They both had a little look at him, and like 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 we like we've all we've all sat down. We've all had a chat, and there's no there's no reason not to fight him. Before considering Gildarim as an opponent, or before he was presented to you as a possible opponent, yeah. who else was you considering, Jack? Who else was you looking at? To be honest, I weren't looking at anyone. Obviously, the mentions is actually that that got that got brought up a few times. Um, so you know what, listen. I'm just I'm just grateful I'm fighting back fighting on match room back on fight camp. Um, Eddie's getting me back out um, on the back on as well. It's gonna be it's gonna be my first time on this own. Um, so yeah, you know I'm I'm more than happy and I'm just grateful that they're gonna give me the opportunity and I've just got to take it with both hands and go for it. Now Jack Avni Yildirim, as as you say, he's previously fought at world at level. He's fought yeah. for world honors, fallen short, but he's still been up there. Yeah. What are you expecting from him then? And how difficult a test ahead is this for yourself? Um, I'm not saying it's... Um, listen, every fight, every fight, every fight is a difficult fight. It doesn't matter who you're fighting, you know. Um, I just feel like, listen, he's going to he's gonna come for a fight. That That's him, end of the day. If anybody's seen anything of him or know anything of him, he's there. He's there for a fight, which is good for me. Uh, maybe good for him, you know. And we're we're gonna clash no matter what. No matter what, in in ten rounds, we are gonna clash, and it is gonna be a fight. Um, so listen, the game the game plan, what I'm working on, and what we're doing should be more than enough for fight night. So Jack, is this a fight in your eyes, which it will catch fire? It will be a fan friendly, entertaining uh, competition between the pair of you. Yeah, definitely. I don't think I've been in a boring fight yet. <laughs> But yeah, you know, listen, I'm, I'm, oh, honestly, I'm, I'm absolutely buzzing for this fight, um, and I'm just, I'm just so looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Put on a show. Listen, at the end of the day, I've got a box, and I've got, to, I've got to be hundred percent in that. If I, if I'm, if I'm not coming to this fight hundred percent, I'm gonna get beat. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not up against, I'm not up against the, a nobody here. I'm up against, like you say, yeah, he's come short, but he's fought the best. You know what I mean? He's, he's been, he's been up there. He's, he's done it. So listen, it's my time to shine, and um, I think I'm going to get him, going to get him beat. Good, Jack. I know it must be it must be hard not to look beyond Avni Odrim if you are successful. Yeah. But before this fight, it was kind of whenever we did an interview or whether I saw other interviews you was involved in, it was kind of domestic names being mentioned. Yeah. You, you're successful against Avni Odrim. You mentioned he's 20, 21st ranked in the world. Yeah. 
where does your career go then? Is it are you looking? You're not even considering a British or European team. Are you looking then above and beyond to a, a route into that world world scene? Well, to be, I'll tell you the truth. To be honest with you, I've not really, I've not even thought about it that much. You know, like, listen, all listen, all my mind is on now is getting this lad beaten. You know, after that, hopefully, get him speak. Get, getting beat by being good, you know, looking good and looking class, looking looking slick, and once I beat him, and it, it will kind of realise and show you, show me, show everybody how good I actually am. Do you know what I mean? If as soon as I beat him, it's going to put me right up there. And then, to be honest with you, I think there'll be all sorts, there'll be all sorts coming out of the woodwork for fighting them, won't they? So that's what I've got. I've got to ask you, Jack. Um, as I say, there three names in particular. You've got. So if this is provided you're successful against Avni Dream, yeah. people have spoken about the Chelly rematch. You've got Lennox Clark, who's the British and Commonwealth champion, yeah. and Ron Richards, who's the European champion. Would either of those names have interest you? Are you completely looking above and beyond that then? Ah, yeah, listen, Lennox Clark, to be honest, all three of them, all, listen, all, all three of them, I'd fight all three of them. But if I was going to fight, if, it was, if I could get to get to pick out of them, maybe the Ron Richards... Or Lennox Clark, obviously, then the reason why I'd pick them two because they're the ones with the titles. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, you you what you you actually what you want you want a title behind you like this. This isn't for a title. This is just basically I get bam, once I get past him, it's it's gonna put me right up there. I mean, I could go and fight. I could go and fight uh, fight Zach Chelly again, but it's not gonna change me anywhere. You know what I mean? I'm still high ranking Zach Chelly now. Um, so listen, I'm I'm looking. I'm, I'm looking past that, Chelly. And at the end of the day, um, as soon as I beat, once I beat this next person, there's no reason for me not to be looking past people like that. I think it would be about seven or eight months on from when you last yeah. fought, uh, Jack, when you do get into the ring with having the old dream. During this time, away from actually being in the ring in a competitive fight, what in particular have you been working on? Well, I've been down at the gym every day and, you know, we've been practising on stuff. We've all, I've been doing everything. Um, to be honest, I normally, I'm not going to lie, I do normally have a bit of time off, you know, after me fighting that, but I didn't. I um, Obviously, it was Christmas, so I went away at Christmas time and I was back in the gym. Um, I only had only had two, two or three weeks off and I was, boom, I was straight back in the gym. And, you know, I've, I've been ticking over, I've been sparring, I've been, there's, there's a lot of down, down at my gym, um, same way he just fought last week, so I've been sparring with him. So it's not as if I've, I've been out the gym and nothing's going on and boom, they've, they've dropped it on me. You've got six weeks. I've been in the gym. I've been training. And, you know, I, we have, we've been working on loads of stuff. Not even, not even just, not just certain, not, not certain stuff, all, all stuff, all, all round stuff, you know, all, all round stuff, but I need to improve in myself. And you'll see that on fight night. Jack, you said we'll see it on fight night. Come fight night, yeah. you are successful. What statement would that send out to the rest of the super middleweight division? Yeah, it's going to make a listen. It's going to be a big statement, and you know, um, this is the reason why I'm putting 100 percent in it, mate. And I'm going for it. It's listen. It's all, I feel like this now. It's all or nothing. I'm gonna. If I get him beat, and I'm, I'm right up there. I'm right up there. There's no. There's no reason to me not be fighting for big titles, and you know, and like you say, anything could. Anything could happen. I could. I could go. I could go fighting abroad. I could do anything. You know, obviously, I'll leave that to my manager and uh, Steve and Eddie. Uh, but who knows? You never know. I might get a shot in, shot in America. Anything anything could happen, couldn't it? That's something you know? I was going to ask you, Jack. Sorry to interrupt you there, but you mentioned yeah. the potential shot in America. Eddie's spoken openly about trying to kind of bring UK fighters over into the yeah. US and, and vice versa. Win for you again versus Abney Yildrim. Are you looking at those potential opportunities? Yeah. People so, speak about I, boxing in Las Vegas, for example, the mecca of boxing. Definitely. Listen, it's a dream. You know what I mean? That'd be a dream come true. Um, going fighting over there, and and at the end of the day, if I do want to want to put a good performance on him, it's not about beating him; it's about beating beating him good and beating him class and showing how good I am. And then you never know. Eddie, Eddie thinks, you know what? Let's give him a chance. Next, my next fight could be abroad. You know, and what well, who, what 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 brilliant thing that'd be. Who'd have thought that beginning of this year? Um, so yeah, we'll see, we'll see. But like I said, I'm just. I'm just concentrating on number one now, getting him beat, and then we'll see. We'll uh, we'll go from there. Right, Jack. Just before I let you shoot off, because I know you've got to go and pick up your your kids very shortly. Yeah. So final word, just for everybody who's obviously going to follow you, support you, and your journey. What would you like to say to them? 
I would just like to say, get yourself ready for um, for my next fight, 31st of July. It's going to be a belter. And you know what? Listen, we know he comes and comes for a fight, and I've never been in a boring fight yet. And same again on fight night. You're going to sit, but you're going to see the best Jack Cullen you've ever seen, and you'll 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 think to yourself, he's changed. He's a change. He's a change fighter, and he's a class fighter. Right, Jack. I'll leave you now to shoot off and to enjoy Cheers. the rest of your day. It's beautiful Thank weather. You. Thank you for speaking to Boxing yeah. Social. I appreciate it, mate. Thank you for the time. <laughs>